Hello everyone, today we will look into how to divide in Excel. We will look at five different ways to divide in Excel. We will start out with a simple method, but later on in the video you will see more advanced methods where we will be able to divide multiple rows of values at the same time. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video where I will be sharing more tutorials on Excel. Let's start straight away with the basic example of how division works in Excel. In column A you can see the formulas that we will be calculating. So you can see on row A2 for example 10 slash 2, 10 divided by 2. If you type this down in Excel you will see that Excel recognizes this as a date by default. So that's something to take into consideration. You can see it in the formula bar. So you don't, you should not type down, for example, 10 slash 2 if you want to divide some values. What we should do is indicate to Excel that the cell will contain a number and start out by typing equals. In this case, equals 10 slash 2 will give the solution 5. We can do the same for the second row of values 20 slash 10 equals 2 and then 50 slash 5 equals 10 for the last equals 100 slash 4 equals 25 so as you can see it's really easy but you have to start out by typing the equal sign otherwise Excel will not recognize it as a formula as a second method I will show you how to divide cells on Excel on column A we have numerators on column B we have the denominators and on column C we will type on the formula equals we select the numerator type down slash select the denominator type down enter and as you can see the division is calculated what you can do is also drag down the formula to down and then you can have the division for all the rows instead of clicking on the cells you can also opt for typing down the cells so for this example we can type down equals a2 slash b2 and if we type down enter you will get the same solution so for example a3 slash b3 is also 10 of course and then lastly equals a4 slash b4 gives 25 it's not better or worse it's just about preference so you can choose you can click on the values or you can type down the cell in contrary to typing down the division manually by selecting the cells you can have a dynamic calculation tool for divisions for the in this example i changed the value of the numerator on second row to 100 and the division changed to 50. so let me show you again i can change the value of a to 200 and you will see at column c that the value will change to 100. you can do this for any value because c is dividing a with b so no matter what value you input in a2 and b2 c2 will show the result of the division as a third method we will look at the quotient function at column a i've put numerators column b denominators column c i've calculated the division by using slash symbol and in column d we will try out the quotient function you can do this by typing down equals, quotient, bracket, open. You select the numerator, semicolon, you select the denominator, brackets, and then you can type down enter and you will see the value 2 for the first row. What's important to note is that there is a difference between the output of using slash and the quotient function. As you can see in column C, we are getting in row 2. 2.5 as a result for the quotient we will be getting only two 
The reason is caution will always return just the integer. So it will not return the value of the decimals. You can compare it to a round down. Just to show you, I will add the decimals in column D. As you can see, you can only see zeros. So it's not the same value as in column C where we use the slash. The same applies of course for row 3. Also row 4. It's all zeros because quotient returns integers. As a fourth method, we will look at division by a constant denominator. In column A you can see the numerators. In column B we will type down the formula. And in column D you can see the constant denominator that we will be using. It will be 5 in this example. So we go to cell B2. We type down equals. We select the numerator A2. Type down slash and then select the denominator. Because this is a constant, we will type down a dollar sign in front of the row number, D dollar sign 2. The reason behind this is if we pull down the formula to apply it for each row, you will see that everywhere will be divided by the constant denominator 5. Every row, every value in A, will be divided by the constant denominator. What you can do is you can change the value of the constant denominator and as you can see the values in column B will change accordingly. So this is also a nice tool you can call that you can use. Last but not least we will see an example of a division of an array. So basically it's a division of complete columns at the same time. For this you have to select the complete column where you want the divisions to be calculated. For in this instance I will select C2 till C7 and then you type you click on the formula bar and select the whole column of numerators. You type down slash, you select the whole column of denominators and you type control shift enter. This is an important step. You have to type down control shift enter and you will see the division will be applied for every row in the table. So I will type down here, you have to type down control plus shift plus enter at the end. So let's do this again. We select the array where we want to have the solution. We type down equals. We select the array of the numerators. We type down slash. We select the column of the divisions. And here we have to type down control shift enter. Then you will see the division will be applied for every row. Well, we have reached the end of this video. I hope you learned some several tricks. Please let me know if you learned something new and what was the method that uh, you think that will be the most useful to you. Also, let me know if you have another method to apply divisions in an Excel worksheet. Please like and subscribe if you want to have more tutorials and tips and tricks for Excel. I will be posting more videos soon. Thank you. Take care.